everybody. Welcome back to the DIY Designer. Thank you so much for being here for another solid episode. Um, if you guys are new to the channel, my name's Orly Shani. This is my show. Um, I'm having such a blast doing it, and I hope that you guys love it. If you do, subscribe to the channel, would ya? Come on. Don't be so stingy. Subscribe. Just do it. I am all up in those comments, so if you have any questions, you need some advice, or you have technical questions, please ask them to me. I will absolutely answer them in the uh, comment section down below. And make sure that you guys click that bell so that you get a notification when I've got a new video. Can we discuss how I'm full rainbow? I've got red, orange, yellow, green, and then I effed it all up by wearing black. Why aren't I wearing blue jeans? Whatever. I sort of thought it through. Um, so today we're gonna be making this really cool jacket that's gonna incorporate floral embroidery. Now, always spring, summer, the runways show tons of floral embroidery. We see them on sweatshirts, on bomber jackets, on floor length coats, even on like the hoods of little hoodie sweatshirts. And embroidery is actually really expensive and not easy to DIY. You need a machine to do it. It's not something you wanna do by hand. But I figured out a pretty cool hack and that is using embroidered tool. It's just killer, man. It's sexy and cool. Let's do materials. All right, so the first thing you wanna do is just cut a tiny little hole in the jacket, which allows you to get your scissors in there and get all the way to the edge. You wanna cut out the back panel as close to the edge as possible. So sort of push your scissors against that edge so that it's a really nice, clean cut. Obviously, cut all the way around until the entire panel is removed and we're ready to start with our first piece. You wanna take that jacket, flip it inside out because we're gonna be attaching our tool on the inside. There's a right and wrong side of the embroidery, so make sure that you find the really nice bright sheen and put it facing outward so that you're gonna see it on the outside of your jacket. Take a little extra time to make sure that the panel feels really even, that like all the lines are straight. This is worth taking the time because once you glue it, that is the shape that's gonna hold. We're using Fabri-Tac, so just give yourself a nice clean line of Fabri-Tac and drop the fabric right on top of it. Use your fingers to sort of pat it in so that it blends into all those little tiny webs of the tool. If your fingers start to get a little uh, sticky, you can always use the back of like the glue bottle. I finished off the back and now it was time to move on to the front. So I wanted to cut out these little panels here. So I did the same exact thing, cut a little hole and then I was able to get around to the edge, cutting as close to all the edges as possible. You wanna save these pieces because they're gonna act as pattern pieces for the new center. Now, unfortunately, we do need to cut out the pocket of the jacket because you can see that whole white backing, which just ruins the whole effect. So it's a bummer to lose the pocket, but it's worth it because you'll end up with a really nice clean line. So just cut out the pockets on both sides. When they're done, you can see there, it's just like nice and open and clean. Now decide which part of your embroidery you wanna see in that place. So take your piece, lay it down like a pattern piece and just cut out about an inch all the way around so you have enough room to overlap and glue. Once you have one piece done, lay it down and cut out an identical piece so you have two even pieces. Now I'm just adding glue again all along the edge. You want like a decent amount of glue to hold this in place. Lay it down with the right side facing out so that you're always gonna see that really pretty sheen. And just glue, tap. Again, if your fingers get uh, sticky there, you can just use the bottle. Once that side's done, identical thing to the other side. And now we have the two center front panels done and it's really, my favorite, it's starting to look really good. All right, so now we're gonna cut this section open. What I love so much is that it's the area that's gonna show like that clavicle. So it's really pretty, it's a really nice sort of peekaboo effect. Cut the piece out and there we go, we have a perfect pattern piece. So once you cut both out, lay them on your embroidery, decide exactly which part of the embroidery you wanna highlight, cut them out with about one inch of excess all the way around, it's essentially our seam allowance, but really it's just giving us room to glue. Lay them down and peel it back, add your glue, tap, tap, tap. Obviously, this is pretty much a step and repeat process. It's really just deciding what you wanna cut out and what you don't wanna cut out. Once you glue everything down and it's all nice and even, it's basically just time to clean it up, which really is just cutting off the excess. So pull your fabric up and away, anything that's free to be cut, cut so it's nice and clean on the edges and you don't have any excess showing everywhere. Once that's done, you're done. All right, dudes. We're done. I was originally debating on, that's my phone. Shut up. I was originally debating on doing the yoke, which is this part across the top, but decided against it. I think it looks really nice and subtle as is. So I'm gonna leave it as is, but you can do absolutely as much as you want. Um, I'm gonna let it dry and then I'm gonna try it on. In the meantime, I'm just gonna hang out with my little lady friend. Okay, bye.